everybody good morning this is Jean here um, I'm just ready to pop out for a little while um, but I just wanted to let you know that I've done this tutorial um, on the uh, little bag that I have shown you in my previous video uh, things are moving and shaking here um, I just took it's a it's a bit of a long tutorial on this little bag um, as you know we're in the process of getting ready to downsize and there's lots of things going on but I know quite a few of you wanted to see the tutorial so it's this little bag here it's a fully lined you've seen it blah 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 fully lined um, fairly substantial but not heavily uh, uh, st uh, stabilized bag and again we are we are touting that it fits EpiPens for kids who have allergies or some kind of medical um, uh, medical supply that you would have to uh, take with you. Just a little tiny strap, it doesn't weigh much. Uh, cell phone bag, full tutorial on it. I tell you the hardware, if it looks hard, it's not. And you see me, I, don't, I just sit down on my machine and I make it and I don't hardly, I don't hardly even get up at all just to make the strap. It's one step after another, step, 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 but it's not hard. So um, I know you guys wanted to see this little tutorial on these little bags. Um, I just took the time before I start disassembling things. Um, everything's sort of on plan, on paper, my shelves in my new room. Um, we just have to do a few bits to the house that we're going to be moving into. I've started sort of cleaning out the basement and the attic um getting rid donating gifting that type of thing the things that i don't see a lot as you know most of it will be left behind <laughs> and i'm taking just what's uh just what can fit and uh everything so everybody's been so kind and um yeah we're going to be making memories in another house and um we're all we're all cool we're all cool i've had my bouts <laughs> of like no but then um then i think uh we're so blessed so onwards and upwards here we go but this little tutorial i hope you love it is um this little bag so um yeah stay tuned again from start to finish i tell you what you need all right thanks again and thank you for all your support i really appreciate it bye Our lovely little little bags here that we're, we're going to make um uh, uh this bag that i'm making here i'm making it in the blue the two shades of blue it, it measures about, let me just see, I have a couple of them here, let me see, that are in the, that, that are two-tone, and they measure, let me just see here, they measure finished about 11 by 6, something like that, 11 by 6, maybe just slightly smaller, and as you can see, they're fully lined, this one has contrasting lining and two contrasting color zippers. By all means, you could simplify this and cut everything absolutely the exact same. As you can see, they have a, an adjustable strap here that can you know, adjust longer. They have the hardware here with this lobster catch and the D-rings. And I put these on the side, but I'm going to show you how I do them on the top, the actual tabs. So here's just a couple of examples that I have made. Now this is an all-in-one. This is an all-in-one. And as you can see, but the lining, the top, the bottom, everything is the same. And I use the zipper, the XX zipper, which I will show you, as the tabs on the top. I quite like it this way because it doesn't flip on you um, because one is on one side and one is on the other. Again, I will show you that. And then here's another example of an all-in-one um, with all of the, um, the same exact fabric. I'm showing you ones with two different fabrics. Now also I wanted to show you this one. This is a little bit heavier dutier. Is that a word, heavy dutier? Um, because I put an actual back pocket on here. I put a back pocket on here and if you if you can figure it it's just an extra piece of fabric you do get a lot of bulk in here you have to reinforce reinforce it's just an extra piece of fabric uh two pieces of fabric um back to back and then just stitched in when you're doing the back but the tutorial i'm doing on is i'm showing you how to do it without the pocket here's a couple more that i made with the back pocket and the zippered compartment all in one and here's one that I made again it's a slightly bit more substantial because it's a lot of fabric that you're going through this is two colors two color zippers the zipper tabs on the top and the back pocket but I'm showing you now 
how to do one that does not have a back pocket. And this is what you're going to need for this little case here. It looks like a lot. It really does work up very quickly. This is the this is the most, perhaps um, you want to take a bit of time to do it this way. What I've done is I've made sort of pattern pieces out of card. Um, and I, I, because I was using so many, I, I mean, I was making so many of these that I thought, oh, that's a little bit wonky actually, but I cut it perfectly. What you want to do is out of, you want to cut four pieces for your back. Okay? You want to cut four of these. I made two. I'm doing a two contrasting. I cut two of lining and two of ba of my my backing, my, my my fabric that will be on the back of my my little bag. And you want to cut four of those pieces, seven inches by twelve inches. Then I want to just uh, just vis visually show you. This is what our my little bag is going to look like. Okay, I'm going to have a white zipper in the middle. A blue zipper at the top and as you can see it's coming together all right so the top the bottom piece here is the outside bottom piece of our fabric is out of, and I've done one lining fabric and one regular piece of fabric you want to cutting two seven inch by eight inch pieces of fabric again if you want to just do it all keep it all nice and simple just cut everything out of the same fabric two of this fabric, four of this fabric. And then you're wanting to cut, for our top piece here, you're wanting to cut two pieces for your top, seven inches by three and a half inches. Okay? You're going to be wanting now, put these aside, you're going to be wanting to cut what I use, fleezable, uh, fleezable fuse. <laughs> fusible fleece. <laughs> you're going to be cutting one bit of fusible fleece or an interfacing or a stabilizer, whatever you like to use. You're going to be cutting a 6 inch by 11 inch piece of fusible fleece. That is what I'm using right there. I'm then cutting a piece of fusible fleece, 3 and a quarter inches by 6 and a half inches. One piece each. And I'm cutting a piece of fusible fleece six and a half inches by seven and a half inches. One. Then what you're going to need for hardware, and I got all of these on Amazon. Excuse me, this is how they come. Whoops, oops, 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 oops. Oh, excuse me. This is how they come in bulk. They're just a few dollars. D rings, lobster claw, lobster catches, and the sliders. That's how they come. If you go, and again, if you're watching my tutorial for my, just my little bag, if you go get all of these notions, you're going to be, you'll be up at 10, 12, 13 dollars for these things at a regular store. Um, online, you get them in bulk, I tell you, much, much cheaper, but whatever. So I, you're going to be needing two D-rings, and these are, uh, let me see, these are one inch D-rings, one inch D-rings. And then you're going to be needing the two lobster catches. And again, they're one inch. And then I got half an inch. Or is this half an inch? Yeah, or three quarters of an inch, something like that. It's small, you can, it doesn't really matter. Well, it does matter, but it, this is about that big. <laughs> about, what is it? Uh, how, what is it? There's an inch. So it's a little bit bigger than half an inch of a slider mechanism a slider to make our to make our um sliding strap adjustable i don't know what they're called it's just a if you can see that it's a slider okay and then i'm using uh, i'm using two different color zippers and and these i believe are let me just see these are 14 inch zippers now we are going to be cutting off a bit of the zipper but i just wanted to show you i've been making these bags hold up hold up I've been making a ton of these bags, and I'm saving all of the, excuse me, I'm saving all of the zipper, uh, uh, the zipper ends. I'm saving all of these ends because I'm using these ends for the actual tabs. You're only going to need a piece of zipper or self-made tab, which is, say, that big. And so I thought, well, why let my zippers go to waste? So I'm saving all of those zippers I've been making them. So I'm using two 14 inch zippers you could use 12 inch zippers or if you were brave you could use 
a nine inch zipper, but I use it bigger and I come cut them off. And then you're going to need a piece of fabric about, I'm, uh, this is um, the width of the fabric, so it's 42 inches or whatever. This is a two and a half inch strip. I have two of them width of the fabric. I'm going to cut them down. That's going to, it, because we're not using all that. We're not using 80 inches. We're using about 50 inches, 52 inches. But when I, when I come to that, I'll show you exactly how long it is. But two pieces of two, two strips. That's for the strap. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my ironing board. I'm going to take I'm going to take my bits of fleece, my three bits of fleece, and I'm going to iron them very carefully. Just put all of this away here. I'm going to iron my fusible fleece onto the first one. I'm going to do it is on the I'm going to do it on the fabric. I'm going to do it on the back. I'm going to do it on the back. Fusible fleece. This is a, a nubbly side. You can feel it. It's all nubbly. That's the glue side. I'm going to take that and I'm going to position that piece so you have bits around. The reason I do this is obviously because we don't want the bulk in the seam, in the um, edges here. There's a lot of fabric. We're going to be doing like four, five, six layers of fabric. You don't want the fleece in there also. Your machine will do it. So I'm going to go and fuse that to the one piece of fabric. Then I'm going to take my bottom of my fabric, my uh, thing. If you have a pattern, make sure your pattern is going the same way. I want my pattern to go, yeah, it's fine. I, I don't have to worry about that right now, I just realized. But um, yeah, so just fuse it on. When we go to sew it, I have to worry about if it's a directional. And again, that piece of fusible fleece fits right on there with a, a nice seam allowance. I'm going to go fuse that piece on there. And then with one of the top pieces, make sure you have the, the, the wrong side. I'm going to fuse this piece. There's the nubbly side onto that onto that right there and I'll be right back I'm at my machine and I'm uh, basically I'm just going to be uh, this is so simple but maybe you want to at this point I should have maybe have done it but I'm, I'm busy um I made it make like a step by step chart or or, or, or uh, you know uh, log of the steps because I can almost basically sit at my sewing machine just a few seconds pop back to my iron but you're basically at your sewing machine doing step by step and you have to make sure that you do the steps properly but it's so very easy so what I'm going to do is I have my pieces of fabric that are, are fused and as I always say you want to really fuse your fusible fabric position it gently tack it on and then on the fabric side you really want to fuse your fleece very well so I'm going to I'm going to put what we're doing is I have my three pieces here and as you can see behind my sewing machine I have set up or you can do it next to you or however you want to do it my pieces pieces and my zippers okay because there's a there's a step one step two step three step four maybe at this point you want to do this St oops sorry about that step one is I'm going to put this to side we're working with our bottom of our handbag um, our, our little purse here so now this is sort of a directional fabric I see that my design is going all the same way okay I actually I messed up a few and my, that might end up not because I messed it up a little bit it's all right it's fine but I, I'm going to, to hopefully get it right so here's the bottom of my bag the front of my bag now I'm going to take right now right now what we want to do is we want to take our zipper whichever zipper you are gonna use and right now I'm going to take my zip and I'm going to flip it over so the, the teeth are facing down. Now, by all means, at this point, you could use a zipper foot. I don't find it necessary. I'm just going to stitch. If you can see, on so many zippers, there's sort of like lines. I'm just lining the top of the edge of the zipper up with the top of my raw edge. I have all of this zipper left, left here. And I'm just going to put my needle down right there. I guess it's a little bit more, less than a quarter of an inch. Back stitch. This is with my zipper down, and this is just running along here. And I'm stitching my zipper down, sort of off. Oops, where are my scissors here? There we go. Excuse me. I think my scissors have gotten, they're sort of going there. They're a little straggly. So here what we have, okay? We have a zipper. 
All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach over and I'm going to take my the lining fabric for my bottom of my bag, the lining fabric. Okay. I'm going to put right sides together. I'm going to line that up. We've cut it really nice. And I'm going to turn this around because I want to I want to stitch lining it up. I want to stitch exactly where I've stitched. And you can see where we've stitched that zipper on. Okay? This is the bottom of our bag. Back stitch. You can see I can see that stitches those stitches right there. So you can see I'm maybe catching the batting just slightly, but not really, so it's not bulky. And cut. So now this is what we have. Okay? We have an enclosed zipper. Now I want you to remember that expression. You want to enclose your zippers. Enclose your zippers. Enclose your zippers. So now what I'm going to do is my one side of my zipper is enclosed. Now you can go over to your ironing board, but what we're going to do is we're just going to top stitch this. Oh, that got cold. Oh no, it's fine. We're just going to top stitch this. It's nice and squared up. I'm going to turn it over and I'm just going to top stitch it fairly close on this top edge here. So, enclose. Oh, where am I? Oh, plug. oh there's my phone. Oh, I'll leave that. So, I'm going to top stitch this right off. I better get that. Excuse me, because it might be Maxwell. Um, oh, no, it's, it's, it's okay. It's all right. So, I, I've, I've top stitched my zipper. Enclosed my zipper, top stitch my zipper. Just remember those steps. Okay? Close my zipper, top stitch my zipper. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our top piece of fused fabric. Okay? My top of my bag. Look, it looks like a bag already, right? We're just doing step by step. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and do the exact same thing. I'm going to line up my lines here on the sides. And I'm, this way I have to flip it over, right? And this time I'm going to stitch it on the back so I can see where my teeth are. I'm just going to line that top edge up. Do a little back stitch. I'm lining the, this edge of my tape up with, the, with the, wrong, the proper side, the right side of my top fit. Now, what are we going to try to do? What's the next step? Enclose zipper. Enclose zipper. How do we enclose zipper? What I'm going to do is I'm going to reach back here and I'm going to grab my other piece, my other piece of lining fabric. I'm going to find the wrong side. Now, what we want to do is we're going to enclose this zipper, okay? Enclose zipper, raw edge of zipper. I'm going to turn this around with the right sides onto the right, the, the right side of the zipper, matching up the edges. Matching up the edges. You probably want to pin or use those clips. Now I'm going to turn it around because I have to see where I stitched. Remember? I'm seeing where I stitched. I'm seeing where I stitched. And I'm going to stitch right along that zipper where we've already stitched. What are we doing? We're enclosing the zipper. No raw edges. I, uh, there's the front of our bag. There's the back of our bag. enclosed zipper okay now this is the part where you were you're, you're going to say okay now we top stitch this edge not quite not quite you're going to line this up you maybe want to go over and press it i'm okay with finger pressing it's nice what i'm going to grab now is i'm going to grab another piece i'm going to grab a piece of blue lining fabric okay and what i'm going to do see i'm sitting here at my my, my sewing machine i haven't even gotten up everything's fine before I top stitch that, what we're going to strive to do is to make the bottom pocket. Now what we're going to do, you're going to take your lining fabric pretty, pretty side up, pretty side up. You're going to take your, your constructed front and you're just going to put that onto that piece of fabric. You're just going to lay that onto that piece of fabric. You know, make sure these are nice and stitch uh, nice and smooth just smooth 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 it's the same size approximately the same size you're going to make sure 
that that you're going to see the wrong side of this fabric okay the zipper's hanging off okay now you're going to line up all the edges and now what are you going to do the next step you're going to now top stitch this seam the, the zipper now you're going to top stitch the zipper real close and right off and if you see you open up your zipper when we open it up we have a, a lovely lined zipper and it doesn't go up any further it's a pocket our front pocket okay our front pocket now is the time this is a bit you have to pay attention again here um, not that you're not paying attention, of course you're paying attention, um, is the next step, if you want to write this down, because a couple times I've, I've, I've messed up, right? What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make sure my bottom is nice and smooth. I'm going to just, I'm just going to put my needle there and I'm going to stitch my, my zipper right across the teeth. I'm going to stitch that closed or just stitch across. I've got to get my better zippers, my, my better scissors, excuse me. They're over here. Sorry. Now, you're going to be brave. Whoops. You're going to be brave, and you're going to cut off the zipper right at the edge there. Right at the edge. You're going to cut off that zipper. Oh, it's fraying fabric. It's good fabric, but it's fraying a lot. So now we're left with a zipper that looks like that. The end, of the, the end of the zipper. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut off that stopper end. I'm just going to separate that. Okay, look. I'm going to save that. These are worth their weight in gold. <laughs> so now, what you're going to grab is, everything's right in front of you, remember? What we're going to do is you're going to cut this and to a piece, to a, so, so you, however much zipper you have left, cut this in half, say, first of all. Cut it in half. So that's a bit too long but what we're going to do is we're going to cut this uh, we're going to cut this about mm, let me see i'm trying to figure out i'm trying look i'm trying to figure out uh that's two inches about let me see what that is a little less than two inches just slightly less than two inches cut your your zipper a little bit a little less than two inches it's a little bit fiddly but now what you're going to be doing is you're going to grab a D-ring, okay? Oh, let me just put this over here so you can see. You're going to be grabbing your D-ring here, all right? Now, you're going to take your pit, bit of zipper, and it doesn't matter which way you can have your zipper out, the, the teeth in or out, whatever. I usually have them out so you can sort of see it's a zipper. And with your, you're going to hold it. Maybe you want to do um, your clips or whatever. I don't, I don't f find it necessary to do that. I just hold it, and about an inch in on the top there, about an inch in together I so it stays together I have it together I put my needle down oh wait a second I make sure they're together I put my needle about halfway through put my thing down okay you got that and now I'm going to stitch carefully I'm just going to stitch that on why I put my needle down is it can shift you can feel it you can it, it might shift on you if it shifts the hair it's fine I'm just going to reinforce that and just stitch it on that top okay this is step whatever if you're taking notes you have to do that right okay you got that now we're going to take our other zipper our other zipper this is my blue top zipper for my bag I'm going to do the exact same thing teeth down this side on the top raw edge of my bag here and I'm going to stitch same distance now when I come down to my d-ring I'm stitching over that zipper pull so make sure it's pulled out make sure it's pulled out go slowly you can hear the machine in fact stitch your zipper on And then right off. There's the top of our bag. 
look, it's, it's like a miracle. It's wonderful, right? So now, what do we do? Okay, raw seam, have to enclose zipper, enclose zipper, right? Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take yet another piece of, say, lining fabric. Okay, we're gonna, just going to line this piece here. Again, I'm going to put the right sides of my lining fabric to the right side of my little sandwich here. It's building and building. And as you can see, this it's getting thicker and thicker, right? And it's making the thickness of the bag. You don't need tons of heavy stabilizer, the fabric itself. So now what are we going to do? We're going to enclose zipper, but I have to find that stitching that I did. I'm going to flip that over, do the exact same thing, find that stitching, making sure my D-ring is out of the way. I don't want to whack my machine. You can see where I stitched and stitched that D-ring on. Let's go back again. We're enclosing zipper, okay? Step whatever. <laughs> enclosing zipper. Nothing is raw edge. And off. So now, zipper, one half of my zipper is enclosed. You see that? So now what do we do after enclose, enclose half a zipper? We go back, we finger press it, or you can go over to your machine, or your, your ironing board, smooth it, straighten it. I'm going to flip it over, top stitch this half of my zipper. Top stitch this half. Everything smooth. Come to that point, top stitch, very close. You can hear it going through the layers. Now you want your D-ring and your zipper up. You don't want it down. You want it up. And off. Now, we have to do our other side of our, our um, strap holder. We want to do the other side of our strap holder. So the bag will be like this. You see, there's the top of our bag with the zipper at the top. So we have one. I found out we put, you, you sort of put one on one side. And that way it doesn't sort of flip when it's over your shoulder. So I'm going to grab one more D-ring over here. I'm going to grab a D-ring. They're going to do the exact same thing. I make it so that the teeth are out. I'm going to sort of pinch this together. It's a little bit fiddly, but you can do it. If you have those pins, I have the teeth going out that way and these teeth going that way. And again, it's about an inch, an inch and a half in from the edge there. Fold them, hold them together. It's fiddly, but it's fine. I, th I always think if you have those clips, you, you, you put the clip on, then you have to take the clip off, right? So I just use my, I just, I just hold it with my, Make sure they're together. Make to make a liar. I put it in the middle. There you go. And I put my presser foot down. That acts like the pin or the clip, right? And then I stitch it. Back and forth, back and forth. On the zipper tape itself. On the edge of the zipper tape. Okay? Just like, it seems like weird. You're, you're sewing things on, the, on a zipper. But look. There we go. Makes sense, doesn't it? Can you see that? Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Now, okay, what do we have to do? Oh, my word, enclose zipper. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking our, the back of our fabric, the back of our case, okay? This is the back of our case, true? There's the back of our case. So what we want to end up with, with the zipper at the top, is the back of our case, okay? So now, with the fused back, Everything smooth, smooth, smooth. With the fuse, let me see, my diamonds are going... Oh, wait, do if I do it that way... Make sure, yeah, they're all going upright. Um, I'm going to straighten. I'm going to make sure the sides are straight. I'm going to make sure the, the sides are straight. Right here, everything is straightened up. I want to see the teeth of my zipper, right? Now, this one, this one, I'll, I'll turn it around because I'm going to show you the, the stitching. Okay? This is where we want to stitch. Now, what I'm doing is I'm taking that, that D-ring and that one, it doesn't go up there, obviously. I'm pulling my zipper back and I'm pushing that D-ring out of my way. I'm just holding my zipper there, getting that D-ring out of the way, making sure my sides are nice and straight. This is the fused part. 
back stitch making sure you don't whack your needle on that and again this one and this might be step something else if you're writing it down write it down actually I might write it down now this one you don't want in the seam obviously you want it out so both of them are out in the top of the bag so now you want to hold that again keep that d-ring out of the way you can see your stitching over and over again reinforce and write off now as you can see some of the pieces some of the bits got slight they're not exactly we're going to trim them off anyway it's going to be fine they're a hair off okay so now what we have is this sandwich i'm not going over to my i'm not going away from my sewing machine how easy is this okay now this is our bag but what do we have to do oh my word we have to enclose the zipper raw edge enclose the zipper so you have one more piece of fabric which is right here one more piece of fabric Either way, whatever. You're going to be putting it, we're going to enclose the zipper, right? Enclose the zipper. Remember our steps. And then you're like, okay, well, that zipper's enclosed. Zipper's enclosed. I have to turn it over. It, it sounds like a lot, but it's not. I mean, look at me. I'm looking. It's, it's, it's so easy, right? Make sure that that thing is out of the way. We're just sort of repeating, repeating, repeating the steps. Okay, make sure our edges are matched up. Our D-ring is out of the way. Our bits are matched up here. You're stitching on the same exact line. And then off. Now, you're gonna pull this out. You're gonna pull out this bit of lining and look enclosed zipper this is the inside of our bag enclosed zipper so now what we want to do is we want to straighten all this out we want to straighten all this out we want to straighten the back lining out we're going to straighten this out and we're good oh that's a little bit off but that's okay because it gets enclosed you'll see you're going to straighten everything out make sure it's all nice and tucked if you want to go over to your ironing board straighten it all out and then we're going to top stitch you're going to go over that bit, bit, right there. You're going to get this one out of your way. And then right off. Now, our bag is almost done. <laughs> Look at that. Look. Our bag is almost done. Now, I have, uh, when I made my little, isn't that sweet? I'm going to put this up here. Smooth it all out. Okay. There's our bag, almost done. Now, I, I wasn't going to make a French seam, and as you, if you saw my last bit, um, it, it, it was a little bit too bulky when I did it. So I'm not bothered that this is going to be a raw edge seam, okay? I'm not bothered that this, all of this is going to be raw edge. I have pinking shears, I, if I, but at one point it's a little bit too hard. You'll see what I mean. Um, I just, I, I'm fine that these two seams are going to be raw edge. Now, also, there's a little, there's a, another way to make it so that the, uh, that there's a real nice tricky way to make the ends of your zipper, like, perfect. I don't know what that is. And th the way I do it is fine. Um, so what we want to do, this is what our bag's sort of going to look like, look, right? But what we're going to do is we're going to find the inside of our bag, the lining side and this lining side, and we're going to take our zipper right at the very top we're going to turn it the zipper right at the very top the zipper teeth zipper teeth you're going to have this one d-ring you're going to line up your fabrics here line them all up you probably want to use pins or your clips line them all up all on one side you have that one two three four or five six pieces of fabric they're all lined up. They're all lined up. By all means, use your pins. They're all lovely and smooth. My zipper teeth are at the very top. I'm just going to start just about making sure that all my layers are smooth. My D-ring's out of the way. Perhaps maybe half an inch in. And I am going to do that 
top zipper just just a little bit these are all together these are all together that zipper's been reinforced now I'm just going to come back here now you will see what I do all of these are together all of these bits are together it's about six layers of fabric you're not getting any of the batting in or you might get a little bit of the batting which is fine About six layers of fabric a little bit more than a quarter of an inch now I go right off I go right off and I get that, that thing out. Now what I do at this point is I sort of check it. I'm not ripped, done that off. I just sort of open it up and I just sort of check the inside. Just sort of check like is it okay? Is everything yeah it's all good. It's all good. That zippers it's a little bit don't worry about the bottom. It's shifted a bit but that's fine. So that's okay. So now what I'm going to go do is now at this point step. Maybe you want to write it down. Oops, my camera popped off. I don't know where it popped off. But I've stitched this seam here. These teeth are not overlapping. Okay? They're right next to each other. My, my, my pulls are out. My top bit, my top zipper, they're right, they're just right next to each other. As I said, I'm a little bit off here, but that's okay. It's all getting enclosed in the seam. I'm going right over that zipper. That's a little bit less, that's a bit more, that's fine. I'm going right off. Back stitch. Going right off. Now, I'm going to open up my bag. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to check. I'm going to check it. I'm going to take my hand through here. And I'm going to pull this here. Push it up. Forget about the zipper, don't worry about that. I'm just checking to see if my seams and everything are okay what it actually sort of looks like and there is what it looks like is everything okay does my zipper close perfect are my tabs okay perfect are my is my zipper here okay is it there okay where's the middle it's there is my back okay perfect Perfect, lovely. It's nice and substantial. Now what I'm gonna do is my I have my lovely pocket, my lovely lined pocket right there. Okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open that up again and I'm gonna turn it inside out. Now what am I gonna do, folks? You know. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna reinforce this and reinforce it and reinforce it. I'm gonna go back where I can see my zipper, my 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 stitching right there. I'm gonna go on the top. Whoops, so my, my, my threads come out. My threads come out. Just a second. I'm going to go back. And you know me. My stuff never falls apart. I still haven't trimmed the zipper off. That's fine. Make sure that your, your zipper stop. Sort of there. Everything's out of the way. And I figure the most stress is going to be up here on the zipper. I'm going to go back on that stitching. Across that, everything's smooth. And now I'm gonna find this got a bit skewed, that's fine. I'm gonna find where everything is about straight to about, about about there. I'm gonna come over, smooth everything down. And what is it? About an inch up or so. Back stitch, back stitch. The and I'm just sort of following the guide here to make a nice straight line over to this seam. If it rucks up a bit, it's fine. Go back and come back on that seam where we've stitched. Everything is going to smooth it all. And on that bit of the zipper, you want to close this zipper just slightly and then come up to the top. And again, I just reinforce, reinforce go off that zipper again there's a funky way to make these zippers really really nice with eh, I'm, I'm not bothered um, it works fine so now what I'm gonna do with my very very sharp scissors where are they with my very sharp scissors I'm going to come along and I'm very carefully gonna cut off that zipper and that zipper 
and just cut. Now, if I I have done this with a pinking shear, but you would have to make it. And now I'm going to save that bit of zipper. I'm going to save that little tiny bit of zipper because I can make another. You see, won't go to waste. I can make a little pull for another bag. Now, by all means, if you wish, you could like um, zigzag this inside. But I I'm. I'm okay with it because you know it, it's it's a I use, I don't usually like to have a lot of ton of raw seams but I'm absolutely fine with it but by all means you could zigzag it now what I am going to do I, I forgot I am going to go back and I'm going to do this bottom one again because I only did that once really reinforce that right off. And then just, a, it doesn't, I mean, you can't get a real nice thing. Just clip off those corners. Now, the zipper is open. Make sure you have the zipper open. I'm going to open it all the way to turn it inside out. I'm going to grab these points here and very carefully, putting no stress on it, sort of just very carefully wiggle it out. Wiggle my bag out. And then push the points out, push those points out. Push your, push, your, push your corners out. I'll put my scissors in there or point turner very carefully. I'll push that corner out there. I'm going to push that corner out there. And there, and then push this corner out here where that top zipper is. Now, what I'm going to do there, make sure the zipper closes. And there, as you can see it, it's sort of puffy and has a lot of, and has, it's not stiff, but it has structure to it. Has a very nice long, a nice long pocket there. And then again, as Jen was saying, EpiPen pockets, cell phone pockets, fully lined. That has absolutely zero raw seams. Now I'm going to go over. It's all fully lined. Your zipper's all fully lined. All enclosed. Remember all your steps. There's a few little, and again, I, there's there's ways to tuck that in. I'm fine with that. That's fine. Um, I'm going to go over and I'm going to press that. Now the next thing is we're just going to make our hanging, and we're going to show you how to make our hanging, um, our little hanging sleeve. Uh, no, what is it called? Not hanging. I'm, not, I'm making a quilt, right? Our um, our uh, strap, our adjustable strap. Oh, we will be back. Now I'm over at my ironing board and I want to show you, I've I cut these two and a half inch strips about, approximately two and a half inches, maybe a little bit smaller you want to make them. And I've, I've sewn them together to make a long thing, uh, to make a long strap. Um, now, I'm, you have to be very careful with this seam here because it's, I'm, I'm using small, I'm, this strap is a tiny little strap. It's only, it's only a half, in, half inch. So you want, to don't, you want to make sure that that's not a really bulky seam. You want to trim that. So what I'm going to do, is my in the frame here? Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I, sometimes like they say fold it in half and then go up to the line. I guess you can do that. Let me do it properly. <laughs> so you fold this in half. Fold it in half, and then you open it up, and then you turn that to the line, into the line. But see, that's a, a, a yeah, that's not that's not good enough. That's not good enough. Uh, I should have made this a bit smaller. Maybe it's, you wanted to make it two inches. Because what I'm doing is literally, I'm just going to eyeball it a little bit more than half, a little bit like that. You'll see what I'm doing, okay? And then I'll do the whole length, and then I'm going to turn it over like that. That's about the size we want about an inch. Do you see that what I've done? I've just turned the, the, turned the edges in. You can figure it out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my ironing, my sewing machine and I'm going to fold it in half again and make a skinny little strap. So I'm at my machine and I'm making this strap. Now I'm making it very small because I'm going to reach over here because I have a very small um, slider thingy, thingy, or slider thingy, um, adjustable slider thingy. And see how it goes through nicely and neat. If you wanted to make this wider, by all means you could if you wanted to get like a, I don't know, a, a, an inch or an inch and a half one to make it wider. But I feel this is maybe for just little girls and they don't want a cumbersome strap. They just want something very, very, you know, light to th throw around their shoulders. So here I've done, I've, I've made this thing here, I've put it in there and then I'm going to turn this 
with all, all the raw edges in there, I'm just going to turn it and I'm going to make this little tiny strap here. Putting my, my, um, my presser foot down and just folding it over. And I'm just going to go to the length of this, having folded all of that folds in. So here we have our strap, our nice long strap that I've just made, okay? And I have my three pieces of le le leftover hardware, my two lobster catches and this little slider thing. So what you want to do, you have to be real careful at this point because I got so confused it wasn't even funny. I looked after tutorial after tutorial. I got so messed up. So either whichever is like the inside, I don't know, they all both look the same to me. One is the inside. If it's obvious, it's the inside. What you're wanting to do is... You're going to be putting this slider, and it, this slider, there's no either right or wrong side. So I'm just going to put it in, I'm going to put it in like this. I'm going to put it in like that. On the one, on the top side, like put it in like that with that little slider down the edge. And then I'm going to put the slider up, and then I'm going to push this right down. So the slider is like that. Okay? Now I'm going to pull that slider down to about an inch. An inch and a half. You got that? To about an inch and a half. Now I'm not. I'm going to go over to my machine so this doesn't go on too long. And a lot of people like to to um, zigzag stitch that and just stitch this down. Just secure that down. You got that? So there's our slider thing. I'm just going to go over to my machine and I'm going to stitch that down. Some people like to do a, a decorative X. I just going to sort of tuck that raw edge up. Like it's a bit thick, but my machine will do it. Make sure it's nice and straight and stitch this along as far as I can get it up to that slider on one end okay I have stitched this down my sliders there can you see that I've stitched that down I folded it over and I've stitched that down really really good okay now this is the tricky part let me see if you can see the whole thing excuse my messy room I'm gonna put this in front of me and I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna make sure that it's uh, it's all nice and straight with this on the inside, okay? Nice and straight. I'm gonna swing this around, swing this edge around, okay? And what I'm gonna do now, see I've made a nice loop right there. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take one of my lobster catches and I'm gonna put it on the outside. I'm gonna just thread that right along there. Okay, you got that? Okay, you got that? So here's my, here's the inside where I've stitched. Here's the inside where I've stitched. I'm keeping it nice and straight. I've threaded my lobster catch, one lobster catch, on that end. Okay, let me see. Can you see that? On this end. Okay, now I'm going to bring this around. It's nice and straight, 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 straight. It's not twisted. I'm going to bring this around here, like that. And I'm going to grab this end. And I'm going to find that top edge there, that top rung. I'm going to thread all this in like this. I'm going to just thread all. And look, watch the magic happen. Flip neck. This was so fun. Look, there is our bit of adjustable strap. Can you see that? There's our bit of adjustable strap. The lobster end is here. Everything is lovely and straight. And then you can, you can adjust it. You can make it very short or very long. It's like magic. <laughs> Little things make me happy. Okay, again, make sure everything is nice and straight. Nothing is twisted on your little thing. Okay? Now, you have your lob one lobster catch right there, making sure nothing is twisted. You're going to take your other lobster catch, and you're going to put this on. You're going to make it through there, and again, we're going to do the exact same thing. This is on the inside. You see that? There's the inside. There's the inside. You're going to take that end, end and you're just going to stitch it down. Then our bag will be done. Okay, so everything is nice and straight. You can see that. Everything is nice and straight. You're just going to, I'm just going to go over. I'm going to stitch that down. And then we can attach it to our bag. And I'll be back. So here is my finished, my finished strap. I'm just going to attach that to the top of my bag. These are swivel, so it's fine. They shift around. I'm just going to go over here, find my 
lobster catch there and there is oops yep there is my lovely lovely adjustable strapped bag as you can see look at that isn't that lovely can make it longer or can make it shorter and there is my bag there is our lovely bag fully lined quite substantial so simple just step after step after step after step you're going to you want to maybe even as I said write those steps down um, so you get everything everything in order um, and there you have your lovely bag your lovely cell phone bag I hope you've enjoyed it I, I love making them I think you'll be addicted <laughs> not a lot of fabric plain uh, pattern you could do a pocket on the back I think you could figure that out just you have two more pieces of fabric and then maybe interfaced um, just maybe an interfacing and then just stitch it before you stitch the final seams just to make that pocket that's what I did on these here I just made a pocket with some interfacing on there and just stitched it and really really reinforce that because that is about eight pieces of fabric there but that makes it a little bit much more substantial so you have a pocket there you have a pocket there and you have a nice top so with our adjustable with our adjustable straps using our bits of uh, using our uh, bits of zippers up not having to make fiddly little um, pull uh, tabs use the zippers so I do hope you love your this tutorial folks let me see how you get on and um yeah yeah it's exciting so there you go a little crossbody bag cell phone bag EpiPen bag um, medical supply bag whatever all right thanks folks see ya bye